lots of questions. Mm. One is, does 11 minutes change a film very much for you? Yes, it, it, it totally changes the character of this movie. It gives it a moral center. It makes it more satisfying an experience, believe it or not. And it fills in a lot of, you know, construction gaps that uh, maybe many people never noticed. But because of that, you know, the original version went from shock to shock to shock. Now it's whole, it's balanced, it's proportionate. And because of that, it seems even more realistic. And because of that, maybe, some people who've seen this version say, even though we've only put in one scary scene back into it, that somehow all the other work makes the whole of it scarier. There were stories floating around during the making of this film about all kinds of weird phenomena happening, mm. which I assume are all not true. Well, you know, when you've been shooting for a year, uh, demons are a very useful uh, invention to invoke <laughs> for the cause of Especially the Especially for publicity. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Newsweek did that. <laughs> you know, what's taking you so long? Someone from Newsweek asked Billy, and he said, well, we've had all these f freaky phenomena <laughs> taking place, fire on the set, mysterious deaths, accidents, and whatever. I swear to you, this is how, how it grew. I mean, you, you shoot for a year, yeah. and you know, people do get ill, they get die, sometimes a fire starts, all that. There was only one thing that I thought was, uh, could have been considered borderline spooky. It's that uh, after one scene, which I was present one day, Chris Newman, our sound man mixer, is, uh, is listening to the playback. Now, it was a very quiet dialogue scene. And he's listening while the scene is being shot. And he'd heard nothing, but on the playback, he was hearing. And he played it for us. It was like chapter one, the mysterious rappings wow. began on the night of whatever. He didn't hear and John is dead was. or anything like no. that. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just want to make sure he didn't hear the yeah. Beatles tune backmasking on that. I never checked it for there that. There you go. There you go. Um, uh, sequels. Did you have anything to do with any of the sequels at all? Three. All I of wrote and directed. No, 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 no. The Exorcist is three. Right. I wrote and directed. That was based on my novel Legion. Um, were you as pleased with, with, with what happened after the Exorcist as what happened with the original? I mean, after the Exorcist? Yeah, after the first one came out, and then, and then yeah. the sequels came out. Well, the second one was a notorious disaster, mm -hmm. uh, Exorcist Two. They wouldn't let me see it. I was living in Georgetown, and I was talking. I called Warner Brothers, the president, uh, Frank Wells, God rest his soul. I said, Frank, do you know, I have some connection with the Exorcist. Can I see it? He said, well, Bill, yeah, if you'll promise me that if you go on The Tonight Show and you don't like it, don't say anything about it. Frank, don't show it to me. So I, later in the week, I went down to Bethesda Theater, you know, paid my two dollars at two fifty, and sat in the back with some friends. I was the first to giggle. I want you to know, I was the first to giggle, and then I giggled. I got some really outraged stares, people turning around saying, "You know, virtually blasphemous! Mm. How mm. dare you!" Mm. But as I had predicted to my family. At the point at which I'd circled it in the script, somebody smuggled a script to me. When Louise Fletcher put that helmet on Linda Blair's head, we went up and we never came back down. How about this for a line of dialogue from Richard Burton? I've flown this route before on the back of a grasshopper. Was it a locust or something? <laughs> Can you believe it? I asked them to let me remix it. I said, pull it out of the theaters. I will do a What's New Tiger Lily. I'll write a whole new story in subtitles. You know, we get rid of the track. Hold the story. Leave the picture. Don't we'll call it Son of Exorcist, whatever you want. There you go. Nice to see you. That's a great story. <laughs> My pleasure.